Hey everyone, it's Tilly and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video. So I've been seeing this trend blowing up on YouTube recently. I thought I'd hop onto the bandwagon and try it out. And if you haven't seen it already and you can't tell already by the title, it's when someone just follows a beauty guru's makeup tutorial. And I mean, as we all know, I'm pretty much a beginner at makeup. I'm just an average girl who likes to wear makeup, so. So if you guys like this kind of video, then make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already, and let's get into the video. So today I'm following Nikki Tutorial Sultry Warm Tone Smoky Eyes Feet Modern Renaissance Palette. Hey guys, so today hey guys. I'm doing a tutorial with the beloved Modern mm -hmm. Renaissance mm -hmm. Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. When I got this palette, Anastasia. Yeah. to be honest, I was like, All right, so let's skip, 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 skip. But you how I did this and if you want to know how I did this then keep watching. <laughs> Alright so throughout today's video I'll be trying a lot of new products and I'm Fabulous. just going to share with you my first impressions. So the first product I'm going to go in with is by Benefit. This right here is the Total Moisture Facial Cream. I'm just taking my trusty Rimmel Wake Me Up. I'm going to put quite a lot on because she's like full coverage queen and I'm not really like that if I'm honest. Also guys, I've got to go out after this, so let's hope I don't look like I've been punched in the face. I literally just like a big orange. Always wanted to be an orange. For concealer, I'll be trying two new ones today. The first one Ooh. is going to be by Amazing Cosmetics. And this right here is the Amazing Concealer in Ivory. And then also the brand oh new Tarte. Shape Tape Contour Concealer in Fair. I'm gonna mix it two. So I actually have the dupe. Wow. Wow. What is that? The dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. And I also have this bourgeois one. So we'll just go ahead and use those and. That appreciates us pasty ghosts out there. And the Tarte Concealer right Whoa. Here. Whoa. Slow down. Concealer. About there. She went a little bit like inside her eyeball. Bit on the forehead. Oh, got hair stuck to my face. Bit on the chin. And she's gone like here and here. And then here. And to blend it in, I'll be using my new Morphe beauty sponge. I have no idea what this is called. It's I'm gonna use my black one as well so I'm, it can I'm match. Sorry, to make, I'll be using my NARS powder in snow. And again, I'm kind of... Right, I hate baking. With a passion, I think it just makes me cakey. Maybe that's where the term comes from. Because you look cakey, so you bake. Anyway, whoa. I'm using the NYX Studio HD Finishing Powder. Can we just, I don't think that was meant to happen. Now I'm baking and I've got powder just everywhere. Way too much powder, douses it all over the face and busts it in and then wipes all the excessive powder away. Okay, so too much powder. Lots of powder, buffer, no. Dust it, buffer. Is she dusting away her bake or is she leaving her bake? To blend in my under eye area, I'm going to go into the MAC Shivering White Powder. And with okay. this, I'm just going to brush powder. away the make and highlight my under eye area. Right. That has taken about 20 minutes just to do my base. And I haven't even contoured, highlighted. The first thing I'll be doing, as always, is priming my eyes using this paint pot by MAC called Soft Over. So I don't have that, but what I do have is concealer. Wait. Her eyebrows just magically appeared. Okay, let's just do this and then we will go back to the zibrows so that's done now i'm going to run away like beauty gurus do and put on my brows and then in a second i'm gonna have eyebrows so now that my eyebrows are on like just 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 magic let's continue with 
the tutorial. Let's dive into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna go in with the color Bond Fresco first. Bond with a more My only issue with these tutorials is my eye gap is very small. So I just find a way to just cover my whole lid with the same color. All right, now going into this beautiful color right here called Venetian Red. I'm look at this guy, but I'm gonna look like I have a pink eye or something. Whoa, that is bold. So far, I feel like this isn't awful. I feel like my tools are letting me down here. I just feel like there's a lot going on. Do you get what I mean? Like, that's a lot. You don't wanna take it too far. Because if you go too far, then you just can't bring it back. Now going in with a small synthetic angle brush and creating a new inner corner on the lower lash line. Okay. Let's just reshape our eyes. So just cut the crease. And over the top, she's going in vermeer. On the center of the lid, I'll be applying this Jouer Pink Pearl Powder Eyeshadow. Again. Something I do not have, but I do have something from MAC. Oh yeah, that's definitely showing up. That's definitely why. And on the inner third of the lid, I'll be applying the Stila Metallic Rose Quartz. Again, something I do not have. And I don't think I even have anything similar to that. So we're just going to have to leave Quickly that. Quickly highlighting my inner corners using Porcelain by Morphe again. Do we have a white? We do have a white. I do have a white. So I have Bourgeois in... 90 to highlight my inner corner and then I don't have a white eyeliner but I do have a silver one by Barry M so surely that's got to do the same so tickly that was painful what's left to do now is apply some beautiful gorgeous lashes Ooh, you've got the same mascara so what I did was I just swooped break up right here in the hollows Swoop. of your cheek da, 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 da. and then Focus. Okay. A little bit too much focusing, I think. To highlight today, I'm going to go in with the uh, Pat McGrath highlighter. This is the pinky of the two. This oh, I have is a the pink Pat McGrath one. Labs Iridescent. So I'm using the Revolution Ghost. Ghost? <laughs> Who am I? Ghost Lights. I think it was like a special Halloween edition. I'm not too sure. Melted matte liquid lipstick in On Point. I don't have that. What I do have though is my Kylie Cosmetics in Gorge. And then over top for a metallic shine, I'm going to go in with the Violet Voss. Don't have that either. Go in with the Milani Materialistic Metallic Lip. Girl, no one needs three lipsticks. I'm gonna take some of this eyeshadow though from the Kylie Birthday Edition. Just gonna put that on. Ooh, girl, who is she? All right, all we need now is some setting spray and today I'm gonna setting change spray. it up a little. I'm gonna go for Chill by Urban Decay. And that guys concludes my Anastasia. I'm physically exhausted after doing this makeup look so this is the finished look i thought this would have gone horribly wrong but it hasn't so if you guys like this kind of video then let me know down below and leave a like and obviously subscribe if you aren't already and if you want to see me do more videos like this then let me know which beauty gurus down below you'd like me to recreate looks from and i'll see you all very soon with a new video bye